You know, there's something pretty peaceful about reading a book in a silent house. If only we had the lights on. <laughs> That's right, everyone. Uh, it seems like day 24 was the ticket for the power to turn off. So that means we can't access gas stations without using generators. Nor does the fridge really run anymore. That's fine, because all the stuff in here is actually non-perishable. But um, yeah, despite that, today is going to be a pretty darn massive day. Because today, we're actually going to be going to the country club, which should be right around here. And this place is gonna have everything. So while I slurp on this soda here, let me tell you about everything we're gonna be able to come across. We got furniture. We got loot. We got food. We got floors. That place is going to give me 90% of the materials I need to complete my own base. Though uh, that's gonna have to wait till tomorrow. It is 3.40, so I'm gonna spend the rest of my day continuing to read up our electricity book, and I will see y'all in the morning. This is gonna be pretty damn exciting, and we're gonna need to kill a lot of zombies. And what better way to start off the morning than having a nice little peppermint and a good old puff from a cigarette to start off the morning. We gotta love it. Sadly, it's uh, foggy as always. I am still just as surprised over how much fog is actually in Kentucky. But as long as it allows us to see more than three feet ahead of us and I don't get into a massive car wreck with our truck, I think we'll be fine. It just feels nice getting out of this area every once in a while because uh, if I spend too much time here, I may or may not just go insane. I mean, the silence really can get to- No! 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 No, please! Please, 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 baby, no! Come on! Get out of there, please! Son of a bi- Well, everyone. It looks like we're walking to the country club. The one thing I didn't want to happen, happened. I miss you, Trucky. I really am, but I'm gonna have to go out on foot. This, uh, you know, I, I was saying it was gonna happen, but I was joking, everyone. You know, I was kind of playing things for laughs, but um, uh, look at me and look at me now. Damn, that, that kind of sucks, you know, dumb, that, Wow, my morale has just taken a... quite the turn. Builder Bobby has far greater aspirations in mind, and so long as we have our two arms and our two legs, we will continue to build our dream home. And you know what? It's good to get some cardio every now and again anyways. God, I'm already coping so hard. We actually don't have that much supplies, so we, we should probably hurry this on up. The only thing we can hope for right now is that at the Country Club parking lot, there's going to be a car with a key. We already have the gas. I'm not mentally equipped for this type of damage already. And I guess I'll see y'all in a bit because this is, um, this just took a one day trip into a multi day trip. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Huh. You too, buddy? Yeah, I feel ya. Sucks to see what happens around these, uh, parts. We got another gas can, some duct tape. I'll take the duct tape, but we'll leave the gas can. We don't need more than one. Oh, that damn turkey. It mocks me from the fog, man. Out of all things, it's that damn turkey. But hey, on the bright side, I think we're finally on the road to the country club. So any minute now, we're gonna be able to move on in and, uh, you know, get, get some stuff. Get some real luxury goods. And if there's no car, um, we're done for. I really don't want to think about that possibility. Okay, you know what I said about not thinking? All I can do is think because we are in the middle of... Bomb truck nowhere. All Bobby can do is think in this situation. And I'm not really thinking good thoughts right now. Oh, hold on here. We got ourselves a nice little, nice little wreck. A nice lawnmower and a vehicle here. Hello there. And goodbye to you both. I, I really do hope that there is a key on one of you. Come on. I don't know how the hell this happened or how the hell you would even exchange insurance information. Um, I, I would actually pay my- God damn it, that turkey! I would love to see how this whole interaction went. Yeah, so, um, I kind of slammed it into the side of- I, I T-boned your car in the middle of nowhere, uh, with, with a- with a riding mower. Now, do y'all got keys? Oh, we got a key, all right. Let's, um, wow, it's already gassed up? Okay. Well, <laughs> this is a little bit better than before, you know? That's one thing we have going for us. Let's head over to that country club now. You know what? It works. And that's all that- that's all that matters at the end of the day. This riding mower is gonna get us places, and it's gonna get us real far in the world. How the hell did I go from a truck to this in less than 10 minutes, dude? You know what? 
No, no, it's fine. If Iron Jesus gives us it, then I will accept it. Let's just hurry up and try and get over towards the... Oh, gosh, I forgot. We, we can mow lawns with this bad boy. Oh, damn. Yo, this is actually going to be really nice to have. We just got to make it to the country club right now. And I am definitely years away from this. Oh, we got a while. I sure hope this gas lasts. Matter of fact, little pro tip about lawnmowers is that if you go backwards on them, you actually go faster. Surprising, I know, but this is how our life is now. Just going backwards on a lawnmower, <laughs> trying to find this damn country club. Where did it all go wrong? <laughs> I'll tell you where. This damn perk right here. That's what's really doing it in for us right now. I am very, very unstable with this thing, and I am I'm only seeing zombies increase. But I do see the first... Oh, Jesus. Okay, but I do see the first sign of the country club. You see that fence over there? That means we're on the cusp of a great discovery. We just gotta make it over while avoiding this horde of zombies. Uh, so, we take a turn right in here, follow this well-paved road down, bypass the gates, and schmoove right on down to the parking lot. Wow, we've actually made it. Now please, <laughs> please tell me that there's another vehicle here. Oh, thank God there is. Now please. I really need some keys right now. The lawnmower is cool, and it is definitely something I want in my life, but, um, I can't drive that thing between towns. I would go insane on just that, that, that mechanical hum. I, no, 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 I can't, I can't have, I can't afford it. Come on, there has to be some keys in this place, right? Right, right, come on, come on, come on. Nah, the only thing we got is copious amounts of zombies. All right, y'all wanna fight? We'll bring it. I just wanted my freaking flowers, man. How many must I kill, dude? I just wanted some water. I wanted a damn vehicle. I'm thirsty. Please just give me a break. I've been bashing at this horde for so long. Gosh, I love short blunt, though. hi yeah, yeah. We finally brought down the horde to a more reasonable size, something that we can even manage. And we can finally check to see if any of these vehicles actually has a key on it. Oh, man. Why the hell were there so many in a parking lot? I can probably come to my own conclusion. I remember lawnmowers being kind of loud. Yeah, that that might explain it. Okay, well, y'all are dead, so do you have a key for me to use so I don't have to ride that lawn lawnmower and attract half the town? Please save me from this hell. And also, I would really appreciate if one of y'all had a nice, um, nice bottle of water for me. I'm kind of famished here. It really doesn't look like we're gonna get lucky with the key, folks. Come on, there has to be a single car with keys in this place. We have one more car up there, and it does not look good at all. Please. Oh, no. Well, boys, looks like we're riding the lawnmower back. Oh, damn. Check this out. This guy was a, this guy was a little freaking construction worker. If only his car still worked. None of these bodies have keys on them. And there is no car for miles around here. That's cool. That's fine. I am okay with these current circumstances. I'm really not okay. That... Let's just... Let's just get to the country club and let's take a little bit of a break. We got so sidetracked and so derailed. Yeah, we got nothing in this one either. And I don't see any keys in the parking lot. I just... I think we're gonna have to go out on foot. Let's not lose hope, though. There could be some, uh... Some keys here. Nope, none in here. And this one's locked. So, I'm starting to feel like this game hates me again. How am I going to recover from this, guys? I'm not even at the country club yet. No, 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 no. I can't be... Oh, come on. I am parched right now, so you are gonna have to settle your own bullshit out. I, I need to drink some water. So let me in this damn country club so I can grab some water. Thank you. Uh, drink this right now. Delicious. Fill up these water bottles. I don't care that there's a horde right behind me. We'll deal with them in a little bit here. Okay, we're gonna have to deal with them now. Well, bring it on, you bastards. I'm all filled up on water now. I'm a goddamn champion with this ball-peen hammer. You really think you can take me, you bastards? Nope. Y'all are done for. It's game over for you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's right. You never stood a goddamn chance against Builder Bobby. I've swung this hammer so many times. And the one thing you should be scared of, instead of the man who swings a sledgehammer once, is a man who swings a small hammer a thousand times. 
Repetition is key for succeeding. I am struggling so hard right now, dude. I, I wanted this to be an easy in and out 20 minute adventure, and this has quickly devolved to one of the darkest chapters in Bobby's life. I'm hungry, I'm exhausted, I'm tired. Please leave me alone right now. I just wanted some pretty flowers for my pretty little garden. And instead, I have gotten shit. I'm gonna go upstairs, I'm gonna go to sleep, and before we do that, actually, I'm gonna hop in here and I'm gonna go grab some damn alcohol. That's what I would say if we didn't have to fight three more of these things. Huh. Bar, oh bar. I'm gonna need your hardest shit. And if that's just wine, that'll work, man. I just, I need a break. Okay, let's head upstairs. Go find a nice little spot for us to rest up in and I'll... I'll settle the rest of this bull crap out in the morning. I found them, but they're also accompanied by a few hundred zombies. So there's a little bit of a problem, a little bit of an overlap. I just want to slip my way in now. I, d I don't care about you right now. I just, please let me in this nice luxury room. I won't be bothering anyone. I'm just going to drink my damn alcohol and go to sleep. Okay, y'all... Please, just let me- let me have that. Well, we're not dead. That's- that's always a positive. And we're feeling pretty dang good, you know? Uh, that nice little rest here is gonna be great for us. There's also a lot of furniture here already that I'm seeing. We got gray carpets here, very nice windows. I'm gonna be- I'm gonna be skinning this place by the time we're done. But for now, I just want to fill up some water bottles so we don't have to worry about dying of thirst. And I will be taking those water dispensers back with me should we get an actual vehicle. But one positive is that I do see a parking lot in the back of here. So I am, I am, I am, I'm just, please, please let there be a car. I don't care how good it is. Just anything but the lawnmower right now for loot transportation. Though before we do check that one out, I am going to check the wreck up here with the ambulance and all that jazz. And most importantly, look at all these damn flowers we're gonna be able to take, man. Ooh. That is one cool thing that we can look forward to. But more importantly, you think, uh, you think one of these things has a key in it? Just one is all I ask for. And also, is, are those some aviator sunglasses? I know safety is number one priority, but sometimes you just gotta kill shit in style. Yeah! This is what we've been waiting for. This is gonna be my turnaround. We're gonna find a car key, we're gonna be able to get all the loot here, and we're gonna prosper and leave this place like bandits. Oh, we got a key. Okay, 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 this is good. I know this thing looks like a piece of shit, and it is a piece of shit, but this is an improvement. I will be holding off on using that just yet, though. Mostly because I wanna have faith that the parking lot in the back here will have a normal car that we can get that has keys in it. So let's hop the fence into this bad boy and figure it out. I left my gas can. Ah, dang it. We'll leave that there for now. Okay, we got a whole two vehicles here. Wow. You know what? I'm not, I'm not one to, I'm not one to, oh, bless the game. It has seen all the trials and tribulations I have brought myself through and it has given me something that I needed. Oh man, you do not know how much this affects me. Thank you so much. That's a that's a good car and it's white like my truck. You know, that's pretty damn rad. Oh, this thing has gas. We're vibing. Let's go grab the other gas can and I think we're going to be just fine. I am um, I just I just want to be really thankful to which game director is doing this to me right now. I really thought I was done for and I I actually will be taking that lawnmower back because being able to mow the lawn that quickly is going to be meta as hell for our character. But for now, let's just gas this bad boy up with everything we've got, and um, yeah, this is gonna be our new car! Let's go check out some of the deets on this bad boy. Already, what I like is that we have four seats to work with, which is 26 capacity each, basically giving us around 78 already. And then we check the trunk here, which gives us another 44. Yeah. That ain't bad at all. Now, before we do go ahead and uh, take everything out of this place, I'm gonna siphon up some gas from this brown car here. And uh, I wanna clear out this entire country club before we start with the time consuming process of uh, of deconstructing stuff and bringing it on over because I don't wanna, I don't wanna die horribly. 
Like, all it takes is one of these sneaky bastards to get a jump on me indoors, and that's gonna be it. So how about we go take a peruse on through this place and make sure that this is safe for us to go through? Even the bathroom zombies aren't gonna be safe from me. Mark my words, you little bugger. Oh, you didn't mark them, and now you shall pay. Come on, everyone. I want to make this easy on you. Also, these, uh, these tiles would look really good. I like these white diagonal tiles. I am going to be taking all these checkered tiles as well. These are going to look fantastic. Oh, look at how much we got here. Oh, dude, our base is going to look so rad if we can complete this whole thing. We just got to continue dunking on these idiots, and we're going to be just all right. God, I am such... I am so good with this hammer. You would not believe, man. I'm just... I'm cracking skulls left and right, dude. Come on, is that all you got, buddy? I can swing way faster than you can deal out any damage. Level four and short blood don't account for nothing, you hear? And while we are killing these things, I will be taking every single digital watch off these damn things. Mostly because we do need to get to a higher level of a... Oh my god! Mostly because we do need to get to a higher level of um, electrical skill. So taking some of these off your hands is going to be perfect for that. Especially when we already have the three times multiplayer plus the 1.6 from Fast Learner. It's 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 going to be crazy how fast we're going to be able to level this bad boy up. Let's go check out the perimeter outside. There are a bunch of hedges for us to take. Clear out all the ones here. And then we're going to go upstairs and uh, hammer at them as well. I want to make doubly sure that none of these zombies are going to be able to find any way towards me as soon as I start the big heavy work, including that big group right there. No one's going to live to tell the tale. You know, I gotta say, the funniest thing about this whole series is I came into this expecting it was going to be kind of like The Sims. I know there's a lot of zombies, but even, even still, and even though that's a lot less than most of our series, it's still, I still feel like a grizzled survivor after all of this, man. Yeah, we still got a few down here. Now, one thing that I am seeing while looking through some of these flower beds that I want to take is that I see some that are very vibrant and very cool, and I also see some that are kind of watered down. So after I take out this horde here, let me show you what I'm talking about. So, as I am walking down this pathway here, as you see, these flowers here, these pink ones, are very freaking bright, right? Very nice, and this is the type of environment that I want at my place. But, if you take a look at these flowers, they are very watered down, and I'll be honest, these flowers are depressing as hell. I don't want these types of flowers in my base. I want the happy ones that remind me of my childhood to be around. So I, I do think we're going to go the route of just building our own through the build more menu. Mostly because it, it goes against my vision. But I will be taking all the bright ones. Th th those we can spare. And hey, we got some potatoes here. They're going to make us kind of, you know, depressed, but it's better than starving. Oh, we still got another horde here. The good thing is, is that we are a god with this hammer, uh, and there's really no stopping me anymore. Even the big hordes can't stop us, really. I just continue to dunk on them. They, they try. You know, they really do, but they fail. They will always fail. They will never succeed. What the hell are you doing here? Are you cut? Are you, am I, what the hell? It looks like we found our damn doppelganger. <laughs> oh, is that Robbie the Builder? Holy shit, Robbie, it's been years, man. Oh, I'm so sorry I'm gonna have to do this to you. Bop, 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 bop. <laughs> you know, the range is a bit of a problem, but god dang, you can swing hard, you can swing for miles. Despite that, I think we're gonna be able to make something work pretty damn well. I just want to make sure that this place is cleared out completely, and then I think we ought to end it there. Oh, Jesus! Almost had me running for my money. That's what we gotta worry about. That's why I'm gonna check every single room in this damn place before we even begin. The last thing I want to do is speed up trying to grab something and having one of those things, you know, come up behind me. Or even worse, speeding up when you have, like, a big water dispenser in inventory. That, that's a recipe for disaster. Also, uh, if y'all got some watches here, I will be taking them. I, I really want to level up, uh, this by level one by the time we're done with this place. Okay, this place is cleared, and now we can go finish up the second story, which does have a few stragglers around here. Oh, there's going to be so much for us to take. I'm already seeing these pool tables. Those are going to be yoinks. There's just a bunch that we're going to be able to take out of this place. And we're not even done with a lot of this spot as well. Oh, my God. 
You scared me. God, what? What are you just waiting at corners all the time, waiting for unsuspecting people to go by? What the hell? You almost turned my trousers brown there, dude. <laughs> Oh, I hope this is it. I really do. Because we're getting a little bit exhausted. And I've been swinging this hammer quite all day. So let's let's just, you know, take a little peek, see inside here. The only thing I have left in my soul to do is maybe pick up some furniture that I'm going to need later. And also, we move our sports car around the back. Oh, I'm also seeing all these paintings as well. This is going to be a really good spot. I'm, I'm already loving this. Matter of fact, I'm gonna be taking the paintings right now. You know, because I already know these island paintings and all this jazz is gonna look fantastic. And there is a ton in this place. Look at this. We got mirrors up the wazoo. And now these are the couches that I love here. This is what I'm going for with my um original base. I love the maroon look of this. And I'm gonna copy this for my main area. So these couches are gonna be a yoink as well. We'll might as well pick them up right now, just so we can pick them up for later. We will also be taking this bar here. I, I love the vibe of this. We got the room for it. And I do love myself some bar walls. Aw, oh, damn it, we broke that one. That's fine. One should suffice for now. Okay, now that that's done, let's go uh, drive up around here and uh, park out in the front area. There we go. And I would like to take these, um... These flowers here, but they're also kind of pitiful. You know, they're, they're, they're very sad. But I will also be taking this water dispenser at a later date when we leave, because having portable water like this is, uh, it's game-changing, really. Yeah, I think we're gonna go end the episode here. If you guys have liked this episode, be sure to like, favorite, share, subscribe for more. One thing's for sure, we got one hell of a day ahead of us tomorrow, and I can't wait to explore and raid this place fully. I'll see y'all in the next one. Have a damn good day. Peace out.